Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. General Hospital Spoilers, is John Cates a good guy or a bad guy? General Hospital GH Spoilers Note that GH fans were left reeling when they learned of John and Jason's relationship on the Thursday, March 14th edition of the show. After two weeks of speculating as to why Jason Morgan Steve Burton didn't he come home to Port Charles right after the tunnel collapsed in Greece, viewers got the answers they were looking for somewhat when Jason spilled to Michael Corinthos Chad Duel. GH spoilers reveal that Jason was immediately kidnapped and then blackmailed into becoming a mercenary by someone that he did not want to reveal, he also didn't he want to reveal what he was being blackmailed for. Of course, the closing scene on Thursday showed fans his blackmailer is John Jagger Cates Adam J. Harrington, FBI agent extraordinaire, and prison time was the reason Jason agreed to do his bidding. At first glance, it seems as if John is a bad guy, but upon speculation, some GH fans are wondering if there is more to this story. On the one hand, John could be a crooked FBI agent. That s not hard to believe. However, in the same breath, perhaps Kate simply presented Jason with a deal to go undercover to catch the bad guys and spill all to the FBI, making John a good guy. This is why John who actually didn't he seem so surprised that Jason was alive when Damien Spinelli Bradford Anderson offered the photo up is so desperate to nab Morgan, and Stone Cold continues to play a criminal on the run. Both are keeping up this cover so the real bad guy a.k.a. Jason's new boss, continues to believe Jason is who he claims to be. Then again, there's speculation that Cates could also be undercover pretending to be a crooked FBI agent, when he is not. GH fans will have to continue to stay tuned to this storyline in the days and weeks ahead to see what happens. Do you think John Cates is a good guy or a bad guy? Comment below. Title, General Hospital Spoilers Unraveling the Enigma of John Cates In the world of Port Charles, where intrigue and drama swirl around every corner, there's always one character who stands at the precipice of morality, blurring the lines between good and bad. John Cates, a figure shrouded in mystery, has left fans of General Hospital questioning his true nature. Is he a virtuous hero, fighting for justice, or does a darker, more nefarious side lurk beneath his enigmatic facade the sun hung low in the sky, casting long shadows across the bustling streets of Port Charles. In the heart of the city, the doors of General Hospital swung open, welcoming patients and staff alike into its hallowed halls. Amidst the chaos of the emergency room, John Cates stood tall, his piercing gaze sweeping across the room with a sense of quiet intensity. As a newcomer to the hospital staff, John had quickly earned a reputation for his unwavering dedication to his patients. His hands were steady, his diagnoses swift and accurate, earning him the respect of his colleagues and the adoration of his patients. Yet, beneath his polished exterior, there lingered a sense of unease, a shadow that seemed to follow him wherever he went. Dr. Elizabeth Weber a seasoned physician with a keen eye for detail, had taken notice of John's peculiar behavior from the moment he set foot in the hospital. There was something about him, she couldn't quite put her finger on it, but there was an air of mystery that surrounded him like a cloak. Determined to uncover the truth, Elizabeth embarked on a journey that would lead her down a path she never could have imagined. One fateful night, as the hospital bustled with activity, a young patient was rushed into the emergency room, his life hanging in the balance. Without hesitation, John sprang into action, his hands moving with practiced precision as he fought to save the boy's life. Yet, as he worked tirelessly to stabilize the patient, Elizabeth couldn't shake the feeling that there was more to John's motives than met the eye. As the days turned into weeks, Elizabeth's suspicions only grew stronger fueled by cryptic conversations and clandestine meetings she observed from afar. Determined to uncover the truth, she delved deeper into John's past, 
unearthing a tangled web of lies and deceit that threatened to unravel everything she thought she knew. Meanwhile, across town, a shadowy figure lurked in the shadows, watching and waiting with bated breath. Victor Cassidine, a notorious crime lord with a vendetta against the hospital staff, had set his sights on John Cates, viewing him as a threat to his carefully laid plans. With each passing day, Victor's grip tightened, his influence seeping into every corner of Port Charles. Caught in the crosshairs of a dangerous game, John found himself torn between his duty as a healer and the dark forces that threatened to consume him. As secrets were revealed and alliances were tested, he grappled with the weight of his own conscience, unsure of who to trust or where to turn. But amidst the chaos and uncertainty, there was one glimmer of hope that shone brighter than the rest. Elizabeth, steadfast in her resolve, refused to give up on John, determined to prove that beneath his troubled exterior lay a heart of gold. With her unwavering support, John found the strength to confront his demons head-on, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. In the end, as the dust settled and the truth was finally revealed, John Cates emerged not as a hero or a villain, but as a man haunted by his past, determined to forge a new path forward. With the love and support of those who believed in him, he vowed to use his gifts for good, to heal the wounds of the past and carve out a brighter future for himself and those he held dear. And so, as the sun set on another day in Port Charles, John Cates stood tall, his eyes filled with determination and hope. For in the world of General Hospital, where darkness and light waged an eternal battle for supremacy, one thing remained certain, the truth would always prevail, and justice would ultimately prevail.